Hello, every pony. This is Swiftwin, your friendly Federation Pegasus. Oh, it has been so long since I've been back in the saddle of Star Trek Online. Oh, it's great to be back. It's great to be here again, and it's great to finally have a new headset. I sound fantastic, don't I? I know I do. Don't even try and argue with me. Anyway, uh, I figure I'm gonna go ahead and do some daily stuff on my uh, feder on my main Federation character while I talk about some stuff that's going on on the channel and uh, just give you guys an update and probably get some entertainment value out of this in the process. So, win, 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 let's go! Alright, so first off, uh, to anyone who has uh, found their way over to my new channel from uh, the old uh, Jonathan and Tilly's account, welcome back! It's great to have you guys here. You guys have probably seen the first few episodes of uh, my Sunburn Islands Let's Play with um, uh, in Minecraft with North Isaacs and Lord Storm. Um, I appreciate the I appreciate the views and the support that you guys may be giving me kind of behind the scenes, but um, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I just want to say that I appreciate everything that you guys are doing. Um, keep it up. You guys ins you guys truly inspire me to keep doing this. Um, okay. Uh, anyway. Oh my goodness. It do something. Anyway. Um, uh, see, that's pretty much everything with that. Uh, let's see. Something else I wanted to discuss was... Um, uh, I've got a uh, I've got a new series waiting in the wings. Um, it's uh, it's a new game I found on Steam. It's uh, very very little. No I really don't think it's very well known at all. But um, I saw the video. I saw a video of it, and I was like, oh my goodness, this game is right up my alley. And it just happens to be one of the very few things that I'm an absolute sucker for. Um, so there's that as well. Uh, let's see. So, um, yeah, I think I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. Um, I haven't even launched the game yet. I'm not even going to start up the game until I start recording. Uh, so you guys are going to see it from the very first moment I even get in, uh, right up until the point where I rage quit. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm. It's a series I don't want to take. Se it's a series I don't want myself to take too seriously at all. Like I do with. Uh, like I do with Minecraft sometimes, I get a little too serious about it, and I forget that I'm doing it just for fun. Super Hostile tends to do that to me, and I blame Vex for that. He's real he's really good at setting up setting up traps and dungeons and stuff like that. That if you don't take take the take the ten seconds it take uh, it would require to think about it and plan a course of action, you tend to get really irritated at it and you tend to give up. Uh, this was the case um, back quite some time ago when I played um, one of his maps uh, it was um, Infernal Sky ooh 775 yes that is 5000 ore but anyway I played Infernal Sky quite some time ago and that's basically what I ended up doing I ended up getting irritated uh, because I took it too seriously forgot I was doing it for fun and it basically uh, the 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 whole game basically fell out from under me, which I I regret. I regret having had that happen, but I've learned from it. I've 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 learned how to play Minecraft better. I've learned how to be more cautious. And, uh, it was a learning experience. It really was. And I I I appreciate I. I, I respect Vex, and I appreciate that uh, the the experience he gave me, and I would like to go back and do that someday uh, as a series for you guys. If you guys are interested in um, something like Infernal Sky, if you guys are interested in more Minecraft, if you guys are interested in watching me die every ten minutes, <laughs> but that is a map I would like to do again someday, just to go back and call and uh, granted I've already played it once I pretty much I I have I, I have a pretty good memory of where everything is and what I'm supposed to be doing but all things considered it's 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 something I would like to do again plain and simple and if you guys want to see it just just let me know and I'll turn it into a series for you guys it really is that easy all right, so updates on uh, this particular ship. Yet I don't know if you, I don't know you guys haven't I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, but this is my Regent class assault cruiser refit. This is the USS Cloudsdale. Um, 
And actually, she's just uh, she's just undergone um, a uh, moderate refit. Uh, she's now uh, she used to run with um, wide angle quantum torpedoes in the front, quantum torpedoes in the rear, uh, dual uh, dual beam anti proton bank, and two anti proton arrays in the front, and then three anti protons in the rear. Well, the wide angle quantum torpedo in the front has been moved to the back. Uh, let me just let me kind of hover over this, highlight it. Quantum torpedo, wide angle, 180 degree firing arc. And in the front, I have equipped, and this is the only weapon I've actually had to set auto fire on because I cannot keep up with the reload speed on this thing. The Ferengi rapid fire missile launcher. So it's a 180 degree arc in the front and a 180 degree arc in the rear. Now, this may sound stupid, but think about this. Anything I target now is in a torpedo kill zone. And I love the damage on torpedoes, and granted the missile launcher does not exactly have terribly high damage, but it has very high DPS due to its fire rate. In fact, it's, it, it's more damaging than my, uh, it has greater DPS than my quantum torpedoes in the rear. And they fire so fast, like every two seconds. I can't keep up with that, so I just set it to auto fire. And the piece de resistance, chroniton dual beam banks in the front. I absolutely needed this weapon for one reason and one reason alone. Now I have rainbow beams. I'm flying a ship called the Cloudsdale. My, one of my bridge officers is Rainbow Dash, and now I have Rainbow Beams. The triumvirate is complete. Uh, but anyway, uh, while I'm here, there's been a uh, there's been a patch on the server, or there's been a patch to Star Trek Online, and there is one thing that I want to check because it has been annoying me, irritating me, almost aggravating me to no end whatsoever. And, th and this is a bug that has existed since Legacy of Romulus was, uh, was being tested on Tribble. So this is over a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago, I, 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 it, it probably was actually a month and a half, maybe two months ago now, that this bug has been present. It is a known bug, people keep mentioning this bug, and Cryptic refuses to fix it. Why? I don't know. Oh, but first, first, since I've got a um, a surplus of credits, I want to go buy a master key from the exchange. Now, um, anyone who knows me, who, who knows me on Star Trek Online, knows that I really don't give a flip about Master Keys. I just don't. However, these are the reason I do. Tal Shiar Lockbox. And, not just the box itself, but, right here. That first item on the list. And in fact, for those of you who are paying attention, when I warped into DS9, if you want to rewind the video real quick, go back and look, you saw a very strange black ship that passed me. I was looking directly at him, he passed me. That is the ship I'm after. That is what I want. That is why all of a sudden I care about this lockbox. That is why I'm going through master keys like a boss. All right, so let's let let's let let's let's pony up and pop this stack. Of, let's pop the top on the stack of Pringles. Nanite disruptor weapons and seven lobby crystals. Not bad. Not bad. What did I get? Mark eleven dual cannons. This will sell on the exchange. First. Let's pop this thing in here. See what they're selling for. Thirty-five thousand. Okay, not bad. I can at least get something out of it. So let's do thirty-two thousand. 
that's pretty uh, that's that's a that's a reasonable price don't you think personally I think it's a very reasonable price um anyway uh, let's see so what else did I want to discuss um I've already discussed the stuff on the channel I've already discussed uh, oh yes oh yes um, okay and there's also this bizarre bug now with having duplicate mails from the exchange and if you close and no no just stop and if you close and reopen they disappear magically and again this is a bug that has been present since Tribble or since Legacy of Romulus debuted on Tribble and this one I'm probably not gonna be able to delete nope but if I close it reopen it now they're gone I don't know why. We're still getting these duplicate mails. I at least it wasn't as bad as it was the, the week of the Legacy of, La of Romulus launch where you could not delete any mail. I'm not sure how you messed that up, but somehow, somehow, Cryptic found a way. Oh, Disruptor Cannon. That's a Mark Nine. I don't imagine that's going to sell terribly well. But I'm going to try, because I I would love to have the credits. I really, really would. And if I had the kind of disposable income to just pour into an obscene amount of zen and just keep buying master keys, I, I'll be honest, I would probably do it. Because I want that destroyer. And I want it bad. Let's back this up. Let's see if I can just search accuracy times two. Ha ha! And this is also critical hit. So it's accuracy times two and critical hit. Those are critical damage. I'm going to guess it would probably sell for just as much. So let's sell it for 140. There we go. I'm gonna leave those bridge officers in my inventory. As bizarre as that sounds. Now let's head on over to the the uh, ship switching guy. Ship selector. Let's head on over to the ship selector, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. This bug that has been annoying me. That cryptic had no business at all touching, and. It is irritating me to no end. I, I promise I'm not happy about this. Okay. Let's ready up my beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous Aquarius Destroyer. Yes, you've probably noticed I have a Defiant refit, and I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Absolutely loathe that ship. Because it takes away from my Aquarius, which I love. But let's see if this bug is still present. If it is, I'm going to be sticking with the Cloudsdale for a while longer. If it's not, I'll actually go back to flying an Escort. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh. This bug is still present. Okay, perfect example. See that Defiant right next to me? Right next to me? This ship used to be slightly smaller than that. I am fine with this. I am perfectly fine with this. Now, my ship is as big as an Odyssey saucer. And this bug is also present if you deploy the Aquarius. Actually, there's an Odyssey over here. Let me see if I can convince him to... T oh my goodness. Do I have the biggest hitbox in the world? Hmm. Let's see if I can do this. Let's 
let's see. Let's see if he would oblige. And this is another sort of bug. Um. Uh, uh, info pain work. And this is another bug that's kind of been around for a while. I, I, I kind of wish they would get on this, on some of the, some of this bug fixing. It's uh, rather annoying. I'm just saying. Um. <laughs> oh. But. He, uh, oh, never mind. He left. But you can clearly, you can clearly see that my, my, quaint little, used to be little Aquarius is now as big as an Odyssey saucer. And in fact, here's an Armitage. Here's an Armitage. Let me, let me dare to compare. Look at that. I'm as big as an Armitage. This is wrong. All kinds of wrong. Oh. Talshiar adapted destroyer. This is what I'm after. Right here, this guy. This guy's what I want. Well, obviously this is not gonna work. But hey. What is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? You can't be the harmony. I'm the harmony. Well, this is this is used to be the harmony. This is used to be. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, this is a bug I wanted to bring to your attention, everyone. Now, now, granted, we didn't get a chance to see it, but this bug is present with the Odyssey's Aquarius pet as well, because that Aquarius pet shares the same model, the same everything as the player. Aquarius escorts. Oh, and did I also mention that my hull material is bugged? Oh yeah, it's badly bugged. It always has been. Why you can't sit down for five minutes and just make a little patch. Patch a couple of lines of code. Uh, fix it. Please. Cryptic, please fix this. I want my old Aquarius back. I want my ship back. Actually, I want my ship. I just want my ship. Is that so much to ask? Uh, please, anyone, if you're watching this, please bug Cryptic about all of the Aquarius bugs. The hull material doesn't work. The size is wrong. They messed it up. See, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we are. See, there's the fleet material. That's, that's, that's what I have. That's what I have. Now, I also have types 1 through 6. 1 through 6, okay? Let's go to type 1. Doesn't do anything. Type 2. Doesn't do anything. Type 3. Doesn't do anything. Type 4. Doesn't do anything. Type 6. Doesn't do anything. Nothing! Nothing! Please. Please, Cryptic, fix this! I hate using the Defiant! I hate the Defiant! Please give me back my Aquarius! Please, I want the smallest legitimate starship in the game back! Please, I spent 2,000 Zen to get this! Oh my gosh. But of course this isn't going to happen. And all of a sudden, the all all of the play all of the people who bought the Odyssey, who bought the Odyssey, with the beautiful little Aquarius Escort, like I said, or like I was going to say, this is a bug that is confirmed with the Aquarius Escort that deploys from the Odyssey as well. It deploys normal size. As soon as it shifts and becomes an individual entity, it grows to the size you just saw, spontaneously. So now all of the Odyssey players are feeling so now all of the people who bought the Odyssey are feeling kind of stupid and kind of hurt uh, cryptic please 
fix this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna exchange some Zen. Yeah, this is how, this is how I, this is how I, this is how I buy my Zen. 156, go to the store, items, master key, buy. Alright, let's pop the top on this stack of Pringles one last time and see what we get. <sighs> Four lobby crystals, we support duty officer mini pack. Well, at least the duty officer mini pack, I know that's going to sell for 100,000 credits. They pretty much all do. Any duty officer, anything in those lock boxes is selling for, well, it definitely was when the box first launched. Was selling for a hundred thousand credits, no questions asked. You put it up for that price, and it would sell. It might sell. It might sell in five minutes. It might sell in five hours. But it would sell. I have never had a duty officer pack expire on the exchange, ever, at a hundred thousand credits. It's really quite magical, because people love their duty officers. Personally, I couldn't care less. And just to prove a point here, let me pop this top. Let me pop this thing in here. Let's do a search. Whoa! The price has gone up. People are really desperate for duty officers. Well, let me sell it for a hundred and ten thousand. Oh, that's eleven thousand. Hundred ten thousand. That is going to sell. Watch. It may even happen by the end of this video. Okay, but what else do we have here? Face dual cannons, phaser turret, mark ten. What is this? Access the exchange, please. Okay. Vendor trash. Sorry I bothered you. Anyway. Anyway, barring the fact that I'm very, 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 very disheartened about my Aquarius, which I love to death. <sighs> I know it's not the best ship in the game. In fact, people will call people will be calling it the worst escort of all time. Which I think is a very very wrong statement. Tier 4 escorts are worse than this. Tier 3 escorts are worse than this. Tier 2 escorts are worse than this. Tier 1 escorts are worse than this. So stop calling it the worst escort of all time. And anyone if anyone comments and says that I was an idiot for buying the Aquarius, or says that it was a stupid idea, anyone who talks smack in the comments about me buying an Aquarius has missed the point. And I promise you are just going to look like an idiot. Because, I'll tell you why right now, I bought the Aquarius for one reason, and one reason only. I bought it for fun. I wanted a ship that I could have fun with. And the Aquarius, no one is going to take seriously. No one sees it as a threat. And no one pays attention how much damage I do with it in STS. Or used to. Back when it was a nice ship. Back when it was small. Back when it was cute. Back when it was lovable. Back when it was right. Almost. Except the whole material has always been broken. That said, I'm I'm sorry. I'm just so so disheartened about this. Uh, let me go poke through here, just because I feel like I need to look at something. I don't know. So so I heard you like a tactical cruiser. So I heard I heard you like Aquarius escorts. No. No. You can't have it correctly. Cryptic is just going to screw you over. I'm getting a little cynical about this, aren't I? I really should stop. And what did I say I was going to do? I said I was going to do daily stuff, and here I am piddling around all of a sudden. Oh, Aquarius Destroyer. Hmm. 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 This is fascinating. You know what? 
I, I, may, I may buy this one too. Just because. Because, again, I'm buying it for fun. I want a ship I can have fun with. I don't care if you think it sucks. I don't care how bad of a reputation it gets. Because, quite frankly, the Defiant, I don't like the aesthetics of it. With any parts. I can mix it, I can mix and match components on the Defiant all day. I still don't like the overall aesthetic of it. It just looks silly to me. That's not to say that the Defiant is a bad ship. The Defiant is an awesome ship. I just don't like the aesthetics of it. And if I don't like the aesthetics of it, I don't like the ship. Plain and simple. I love the aesthetics of the Aquarius, and it may be a lackluster ship, it may not be the best escort out there, but I love the aesthetics of it. I love how it looks. I love how tiny it used to be. That is why I flew it. And I don't want this Defiant. The only reason it's going to sit in my ship inventory for probably all of eternity is because it was my Vice Admiral. Sh that was my Vice Admiral ship token, and if I get rid of that, I'm never going to get it back. Not that I care, but that's the price I'm going to pay. <sighs> I've been rambling on about this too long. Let me, let me please, please, please go to the rest of my dailies. This is probably going to be a very long video, so bear with me. I'm just going, I'm just going through the punches. I'm just rolling with the punches here. <sighs> I'm calm. I'm very calm. So, let's leave the system, shall we? Let's warp out. Oh! Oh, you can see those two ships on the far left right there, at the bottom? Yep. The one on the bottom was a Tal Shiar Adapted Destroyer, the one on the top was a Tal Shiar Adapted Battle Cruiser. Uh, basically a Borgified Deridex. Oh, hey. Red alert. Red alert. Alright. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's just do the red alert, and we'll call it a day. How about that, guys? Make this quick and easy. Borg Invasion, Ursa Sector Block Defense Daily, and we are in! Where'd that Mogai go? Ah! 110,000 energy credits! Right there! That was my reinforcement duty officer pack that just sold. I told you guys, those things sell. Okay, but anyway, let's get right into the thick of it. Missiles, beams, beams, everything, everything. Fire at will! Yes! Look at the rainbows and the missiles! Rainbows! I love these chroniton beams. I cannot express that enough. There goes that wide angle quantum. Right in there. Really? This seems like we're doing a pretty good job as it is. Yeah, that was pretty quick. Fleet support duty officer mini pack for 110,000 credits. I love that. Okay, moving on. Uh, looks like Prom Babe is going after this cube group over here. So, don't mind if I oblige. Uh, let's see. Let's do that. Let's do that. Woohoo! I was gonna say, let me walk onto something that's actually in my firing range. <laughs> oh, sometimes I get carried away with this ship. I love this cruiser. It has served me so well. It's been a very good ship to me. And it's, it's, I, I forget how much it is on the sea store. I think it's 20, no, it's not 2,500 zen. I think it's 2,000 zen. Whatever the price is, I highly recommend it because if you love the Sovereign, you're gonna love this, you're gonna love the crap out of this thing, I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Fire the rainbows. It's time to love and tolerate some board. Woo! I'm gonna love and tolerate me some board. Oh yeah, party party. Ain't no party like a Pinkie Pie party. Hmm, my deflector dish seems to have a bit of plasma. <laughs> got a bit of got a bit of plasma on my deflector dish there. Oh, and they're already moving right on. These guys are just trucking. I love this team. Woo! Hi, Yield Torps. Which granted is only two missiles, but whatever. 
Ah, this is nice. This is nice. Oh, I'm out of juice. I had some juice with me, and I'm out of juice. I understand. Yeah. Because I'm killing me some Borg. I'm loving on some Borg. Yeah. That's how we dance. And that's four groups. Bring on the big boy! Please be ten. 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 Uh, I don't even know where he's at. There he is. Oh, yeah. There he is. Up, slow, and turn, and full throttle. Let's go, baby! Oh, 9 of 10. Darn. I need 10 of 10. Oh, yeah. It's on. It's an arty party. I don't know why I said Arty Party. I'm sorry, that's just me having played too much World of Tanks lately. Oh yeah, that shield is gone. Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna have to be careful now. I was gonna say, he's over there. He's targeting that. There we go, target that probe. All right, let's close to kill range and finish it with rainbows. Ow. Don't you drop my shields. I'm the one who knocks. Uh-oh. I was really hoping that one wasn't flying towards me, and it wasn't. Get some hull. And gravy! Huh, I didn't even see that. No! Woo! Super Drifto! <laughs> hey, hey. Come on, come on, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> Super Dorifto! I love doing that. Just the turn rate, the speed and turn rate on this cruiser, I've just gotten so ridiculously high, it's it's insane. Um, anyway, let's continue exploring. Let's sit here and watch the wreckage of this drift away while I um, go over some final thoughts with you guys. Um, so anyway, there is still some, there is still some, well for me, it's a game breaking bug is what the, the deal with the Aquarius is. That's a game breaking bug for me and I, I'm not happy about that at all. Uh, yes. Crackoom! See, this is what I love doing. I love sitting here and watching the debris just... Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. It, 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 brings, it brings joy to the hearts of the ponies aboard my starship. And we are all ponies. Yep. Starship commanded by ponies. Don't know how we convinced the Federation to let that happen, but hey. That's how we roll in Equestria. That's how we roll. Oh, but anyway. Yeah. I, see, I, wow, I was fighting at level 44. No wonder I was doing so much damage. Anyway, that's going to do it for us for today. Uh, I believe there's no more final thoughts I should be wrapping up. Um, no, no, no. Can't think of anything else. All right, so uh, I believe that is it. Uh, th uh, once again, this is Swiftwind. Fly safe.